Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I did this easy DIY rust paint effect with patina paints on home decor, mirrors, and artwork in my home. Using patina paints on things that look really boring or out of date actually completely transforms them and makes them look current and new and um, expensive and great again. So this mirror here has been in my powder room for three years. I bought it, it was really cheap look, I think I got it at a garage sale for like $10 or something. Um, it was really cheap looking. I tried painting it a few different ways. I just went with like a flat color, I went with black ones, went with dark blue. Uh, I think I changed it to white and it always just sort of looked cheap and didn't look right. I didn't like the look of it. So I painted on this rust patina paint and I absolutely love it now. It gave it depth, gave it character, makes it look like something I found at Pottery Barn or some other high-end store paid a lot of money for, but in reality, this is a $10 mirror with $10 worth of paint on it. So, I'm gonna show you how I did this DIY rust paint effect. It's really easy. It doesn't require any artistic skills, and it can produce lots of different looks. So I'm gonna show you how I did it on this tin um, vase and that star back there. And as you can see, it's a completely different color than what, what I did on this ceramic and tin decor from a few years ago. It all just depends on how much um, of the spray you use and how you layer the paints and how you play around with it. I went with a ton of extra spray on these guys and they turned into this really gorgeous orangey rusty color that just adds so much more interest than I would have done myself with um, paints if I tried to mix this up. I couldn't have made it this beautiful with my, with my skills with paints. So. I love this, so easy. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Just one more thing I wanna show you. This is the wall art I made a few years ago using the rust, the bronze, and the copper patina paints. So I played around on each of these canvases with a different idea, different style, different technique. And I have the tips and the instructions for how I did all of these different looks in another blog post. I'll put a link to that in the description if you wanna play around with the copper and the bronze patina paints too. As you can see in this video, the rust ones are this one here, that one there, this one here, and that one here. I love this one in particular. Um, the, the spray kind of pulled in a low spot on that frame and just made a gorgeous, I love that look right there. But um, as you can see, you can get lots of different looks playing around with the techniques and how much spray you use and how much paint you use and adding different colors. So this one has a little bit of a blue chalk paint added, and as well as that one, but in a different order. So it just made it look different. But anyways, I love these patina paints. They can make things look really great. Let's jump into the tutorial. For this example, I'm using the Modern Masters Metal Effects Rust Kit that you can find at hardware stores and on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description below. You always wanna start with a base coat. On the star here, I'm using a blue chalk paint. Any sort of chalk paint works fine. Just make sure you put a nice enough thick layer on. And that vase, that orangey vase in the background is using the metal primer that comes with that metal, or that Modern Masters kit. You only need to use the metal primer when you're painting metal that might be bare and that could possibly rust due to the paint and the patina spray that you put on it. So if you're painting metal, make sure that you either cover it thoroughly in chalk paint or in that metal primer. As far as color or anything like that goes, I don't think the color of the chalk paint has ever affected really um, what I've done, at least as the base layer. So to get the orangey look, I went with doing one layer of the iron paint. Um, it's kind of a thin paint, so you can still see through to the base layer. And then I did a light spray with the patina spray. So that patina spray starts the oxidization and starts the rusting, but it, since it's a light layer, nothing really happened. And after two hours, I then applied a second thicker layer of the iron paint. Before that thicker layer, that second thicker layer of the iron paint could dry, I then sprayed on a heavy coating of that patina spray, that oxidizer that creates the rust. Now, I'm not completely sure that putting the patina spray over the first layer is what made this turn orange. This isn't something that I have boiled down to a science and the directions are really vague. But I think having that patina spray under the first layer and then a lot over the top, over the second layer is what made it extra orange this time. 
Normally, you let the first coat of the iron paint dry, you don't spray it, and then you do a second coat of the iron paint half an hour later, which is what I did on all of those brown rust projects that you see in the video. I have the full written steps for how I did each of the different pieces of home decor, the mirror and the wall art on my blog. I'll put a link to that in the description too. I know it can be confusing, so the written steps can help a lot. But it's always basically just a paint and spray process, which is easy enough for most people to do. I love this for making budget-friendly gifts for people too. You can find lots of really cool looking things at thrift stores or at antique stores that just have an old style or an old color. And if you just use this Rasputina paint on it, it can make uh, gifts for your friends for just a few dollars that'll look really expensive and high end and they'll love them. Also, I wanna point out that this doesn't feel like some rust that you feel on cars or in metal. It is pretty much soft. It feels like the soft end of a fingernail file or fine grit sandpaper. It barely has any texture. It's not going to scratch your skin or anybody's skin. Okay, thanks guys. Good luck with your project.